Hello everyone, I am Ricky and welcome to today's edition of The Mouse Bites. The Mouse Bites are your latest Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and Universal Orlando news. Now the big news coming out of Walt Disney World is the fact that annual passes are going to go on sale once again beginning on September 8th. I know so many people are super excited about this news. Now with this, their annual pass system has been revamped and there are four different passes that are available. These passes include the Disney Pixie Dust Pass, which is for Florida residents only, and it is $3.39 plus tax. Then there's the Disney Pirate Pass, also for Florida residents only, that is $6.99 plus tax. There is the Disney Sorcerer Pass, which is going to be $8.99 plus tax. And then finally, uh, and that one is available for Florida residents as well as Disney Vacation Club members. And then finally, there is the Disney Incredi Pass, which is available to all guests, um, including those who are out of state, and that is $1,299 plus tax. Now, each of these different passes has different perks that go along with it. Uh, things include being able to visit the theme parks, um, uh, with park hopping. Uh, you must have advanced uh, park reservations though if you'd like to visit the parks. Um, also, you're gonna be able to have standard theme park parking, discounts on dining, merchandise, and more. Uh, if you wanna find out all the details about what each pass entails, visit the mouseforless.com, our news section. The article about annual passes is gonna have all the details that you need to find out which pass is right for you. Now, there are a couple of add-ons that guests can add to their annual pass. The first add-on is the water park and sports option, which allows guests to experience uh, those uh, the water parks and the, the ESPN uh, Wide World of Sports uh, for just $99 plus tax for the year. The other option, and this one is a little sad for annual pass holders who uh, were, like me, I, I use this option a lot, and that is the ability to download Disney Photo Pass. Now before, it was included with your pass. Now that is no longer the case. If you'd like unlimited Disney Photo Pass downloads, it's gonna cost you $99 plus tax for the year. Now what about current pass holders? Well, current Walt Disney World pass holders can continue to use their annual pass as they do now. When it's time to renew, they can renew into one of the new passes at a spe special renewal price. For pass holders who are currently within their renewal window, they can choose to renew in to the current annual pass option through September 7th or on September 8th. If they are within their renewal window, they'll be able to select from one of the new passes. So just keep that in mind. Again, if you want to make sure and understand all the breakdown, visit the Mouse for Less's news section. We've got it all there. Okay, moving on, Disney also shared some details about the brand new daytime show that is coming to Disney's Animal Kingdom in celebration of the Walt Disney World Resort's 50th anniversary. Now, this daytime show kind of got overshadowed because it was announced with the new fireworks shows that are coming to both the Magic Kingdom and Epcot, but it is called Disney Kite Tales and it is gonna take place at the Discovery River Theater at Disney's Animal Kingdom. The show, again, kicks off on October 1st. Now, in Disney Kite Tales, it's gonna take place several times a day, and it's gonna feature a team of performers with oversized props and kites that feature some of your favorite Disney animal friends from your favorite films like The Little Mermaid, A Bug's Life, a Bug's Life and Finding Nemo. In addition, the show is also going to include watercraft that pulls dynamic kite trains and huge three-dimensional kites that look like characters from films like The Lion King and The Jungle Book. Now, as guests watch, they'll be treated to an original world beat arrangement of favorite Disney tunes. Now, Disney didn't share um, how long each show would be, nor did they share the details on how many times the show would take place. So stay tuned to The Mouse for Less for more news on that. Finally, Disney also shared that the fairy tale fireworks sparkling dessert cruise has returned to the Walt Disney World Resort. Now this cruise invites guests to sail out on one of the resort's ferry boats for an evening on the Seven Seas Lagoon, featuring delicious treats and fantastic fireworks views. Now when the evening starts, guests are gonna be able to enjoy bite-sized signature treats as well as enjoy specialty drinks with both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. There's also going to be a scaven ultraviolet scavenger hunt for families to be able to take part in, 
When it's fireworks time, guests can grab a spot along the vessel's railing and you can even don Mickey vision glasses, which is gonna change your viewing experience. Now the fairy tale fireworks and a sparkling dessert cruise is gonna cost $99 for adults and $69 for children ages three to nine. Uh, tax and gratuity is included in that price. The cruise is going to take place on select nights beginning on September 18th. That's gonna do it for all the news that I have for you today. Make sure you follow along with the mouse for less on all of our social sites. So you have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest and TikTok. Also, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter. We have two different newsletters that you can subscribe to. One is a discounts newsletter. The other gives you tips, tricks, uh, suggestions for planning your Walt Disney World vacation or Disneyland or Universal Orlando. Uh, we run the gamut on all of it. Uh, you can also visit our friends at the Magic for Less Travel. They would be more than happy to get you a free new obligation quote to any of the destinations I just described. Visit them today at themagicforless.com. Now we know you have thoughts, so make sure you leave those in the comments and uh, we'll just have a nice little dialogue about all of the news, but that's gonna do it for me. We will see you the next time on The Mouse Bites. Have a great day, everyone.